Hello once again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the uh, Grade 8 guest from the year 2000. It's Root Beer here, and we're on question number 9. So of the following five statements, how many are correct? So we have five statements here. 20% of 40 is 8. 2 cubed is 8. 7 minus 3 times 2 is 8. 3 squared minus 1 squared is 8. And uh, 2 times 6 minus 4 squared is 8. I'm actually kind of puzzled as to why this isn't question number eight, given how many eights we see in uh, the question. Or maybe because it's the grade eight contest. I don't know. So what we need to do is take each of these uh, statements, each of these five statements in turn, and evaluate. Are they true? So uh, our first one here, 20% of 40. Well, what's 20% of 40? Oops, not 2%, 20%. Well, if we want to figure out a percentage, we turn it back into a fraction. 20% percents are out of 100%. So this is 20% of 100 out of 100%. Percents cancel out. These zeros will cancel out. We'll be left with one fifth of 40, which is 8. So this first statement is correct. Now the next one, if I remember correctly, is 2 cubed. Well, what's 2 cubed? Well, it's just 2 times 2 times 2, or we could just use our exponent uh, function on our calculator. But either way, we get that this is also 8. So now we know that at least two of the statements, two of the five statements, are correct. So we definitely know that A is out. All right, statement number 3. 7 minus 3 times 2 is 8. Now, if you do this one a little too quickly, you'll, you'll think the answer might be 8. But in fact, it boils down to order of operations. So when we perform this, we ask, are there any parentheses? Are there any exponents? That sort of stuff. We follow uh, uh, PEMDAS. And so we do our multiplication first. So if, if you were to just read this left to right, you would do 7 minus 3. Well, that's 4 times 2 is 8, but that's incorrect. We do our multiplication first. We always do our multiplication first. So we get 7 minus 6, which is 1, and that is not 8. So statement 3 is incorrect. So we know the answer is at least 2, and not all five of the statements are correct. So A is out and E is out. So now do we have 4, 3, or 2 of the answers correct? All right, how about the next one? 3 squared minus 1 squared. Well, this is another order of operations. Uh, I see some exponents. I do the first one that I see from the left first. 9 minus 1 squared. Then I do my next exponent. 9 minus 1, 1 squared is 1. And now I'm just left with a single subtraction. 9 minus 1 is 8, so that one's true. So now we have at least three of them correct, so it's either C or D. We could take a guess at this point, but why bother? We can just uh, figure out this last equation, see if it's correct, and uh, go from there. So what did we get? We had 2 times 6 minus 4 squared. So we do everything in brackets first. So 2 times, and then what's 6 minus 4? It's uh, 2 all squared. Now we have to do our exponents. So that's 2 times, well, what's 2 squared? That's 4. And this final multiplication, that's 8. So Four of the statements are correct, and that means that D is going to be our answer. All right, D, four of them. Everything except the middle statement is correct. So that's uh, question number nine. It's a nice little uh, order of operations question. Uh, it was straightforward. It was just uh, a, lot, a lot of checking. We had to check each of those five statements. But other than that, as long as we understand order of operations, we're all set. So that's question number nine. Join me uh, for question number 10 in the very next video as we finish off part A. And then the questions will get a little more difficult and uh, they'll be worth just ever so slightly more. So I'll see you guys in the next video.